This is a tale about a fibre optic Christmas tree from the around the year 2000, a time that time itself forgot. Well, it's a fibre optic Christmas tree I've had for years. I even made a little video about it years ago. The box goes for the hard sell, but is battered and worn from all the years of taking it in and out of the loft. The base is pretty unremarkable, and I think those are lolly sticks, but hey, wait a second. 14 99 Wait, let's have a look and see what that is now. 25 quid? Ah, oh, this is starting to seem like a waste of time. Anyway, this thing makes quite a grinding noise when it's going, and this year I finally got fed up and decided it was time to do something about it. So this is all the stuff that I removed. There's a 12 volt AC halogen lamp and a 12 volt AC motor spinning a little colour wheel that changes the colours on the fibre optics. This is 2018, we don't need this stuff anymore. This is all I left behind. The lamp holder, the power connector and the switch. This is the new bulb, branded as Lemon Best. I've never heard of those, but here's the bulb itself. And finally, the remote control for the RGB LEDs. Can you see where we're going with this? It's actually an MR16 bulb rather than MR11 as I wasn't able to get those, but it will still work. This is the old power supply. It's an AC to AC adapter that puts out 12 volts at 1 amp. The old halogen bulb was 10 watts. And this is its replacement, a USB 5 volt to 12 volt converter that can deliver up to 1 amp on the 12 volt side. It originally had one of these straight barrel connectors, but that won't work with the tree as there isn't enough space underneath, so instead I've replaced it with one of these. A solder on right angle connector bought from eBay as a pack of 5 and this is what it looks like when you tear it apart. So with a new LED bulb fitted, let's go through some of the colours this thing can do. You can go for individual colours, including white, or set it to flash, which goes through and just cycles flashing, or set it to smooth or fade, which is the one I'll be using the most. It does do a pretty good range of colours. So let's see how much power this thing uses on USB. With it set to white, which uses the most power, it draws half an amp at 5 volts. That's absolutely fine in my book and won't stress any of the USB power supplies that I have. Just a note about that white though. As you can see, it's made up of the three colours and really isn't white at all. That's actually a benefit for this application, as you'll see. Finally, we need something to hold this big old bulb in place. This is the original MR11 bulb cover, and as you can see the MR16 bulb is far too big, but it will actually hold down with some longer bolts to keep it in place. Now it's the moment you probably haven't been waiting for, lighting up time. This is white, uh, and as you can see it actually creates quite a nice effect on this. Now going into the flashing mode, going through all the different colours, the mixture of colours does create a nice effect. And now into the smooth fade mode. This creates an even nicer effect and this is the one I'll be using on the tree. I'm using the remote control to change the modes on the bulb, which works through the base despite it being infrared and having no apparent way to get in. It actually works even better with my LG TV remote as I found out when I tried to turn the TV off. It doesn't work with my Samsung remote though, just the LG one. I'm going to let this cycle through a second so you can enjoy the pretty colours. The old MR11 bulb allowed some light to spill out into the base and illuminate it. Despite the extra height of the MR16 bulb, this still happens and gives a nice effect. And that's the project complete. This thing is now silent, so I can use it without it irritating me. Thanks for watching.